I have been getting a lot of feedback from students that either they have installed the latest version of InDesign or Photoshop or for whatever reason, Adobe pushed the newest version to their computer and they're having issues. So this video is for anyone that's having issues with the current version of a software program an, an Adobe Creative Cloud software um, application and you want to go back to an earlier version. So to do that, you need to open the Creative Cloud. And so you can, I'm on a Mac, so I can click up here and I can launch my Creative Cloud, or you can go to your applications and find the folder for Adobe Creative Cloud and you can launch the Creative Cloud. And depending on where you were last, it might not be in the right place. And so wherever it, I did not mean to hit that, wherever it kind of throws you, you need to get to the app section. So you need to click apps in the top left-hand corner and then click all apps. This will show you what apps you have installed and what apps you don't have installed. So I have Photoshop, Illustrator, Acrobat, InDesign, Premiere Rush, which I recommend, Bridge, um, Arrow, because I'm going to try to figure out what that is, and Camera Raw. This is also where you would update your software. So if something needed to be updated, instead of saying open, it would say update and you would click. And uh, I believe the default setting that you will see is that it will update and it will override the version that you have. So let's say that Photoshop keeps crashing or InDesign keeps crashing or it's being glitchy and you just, you don't want to deal with it right now. You just want to go back to an older version. If you hit the three dots on the right hand side of this row for each software application, there is an option to uninstall the app completely, but there's also an option to install other versions. So InDesign tends to be a smaller file size, so I'm going to hit other versions of InDesign and you can see that I have uh, version 18 installed and if I was having issues with version 18, I could select version 17.4, which is the most recent version before that and select install. It will then install version 17.4. It's going to take a few minutes. And then once it's installed, if I go back to my applications, um, instead of seeing Adobe InDesign 2023 and nothing else, I will look to see that I will have two versions of InDesign installed on my computer. It's going to take a minute, and I'm not planning to edit this pause out of this video, so it could take a while. And when it finally downloads, you can choose, instead of opening the new version, you can open the older version of the software. Once it's installed, you can always come back and you can uninstall the version that you don't want to have. Now, if you were paying attention, when I said to install the newest version, I got a prompt that said, if you install a second version of InDesign, you are going to incur a problem where your software will not automatically update. I have my settings set. I told it just automatically update these, um, these eight programs that I have installed. Let's see, we're at 65%, we're almost there. So by installing the second version, I just have to accept that I'm going to have to do some manual updates, which if I am having a problem with the newest version being glitchy, that's not a bad thing in my opinion. Um, usually when you have glitchy issues, oh, so now InDesign appears on here twice. So if I go to my um, applications folder, I now have two versions of InDesign. So I can choose to open the old version or I can choose to open the new version. And if I click the little three dots, I could uninstall this old version or I could uninstall the newer version so that I only have one version installed. So maybe you have space issues on your computer, so you don't want two and three versions of Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign installed at all times.